Hi, today is March the 30th, 2021, and I'm going to read on the case of Chris Watts. I'm going to read on him and his so-called um, newfound faith. And I want to just see just in general, if, if there is any sincerity in that. Um, I, I haven't really read on this case at all. I have personally followed it, but um, I've kept my readings on it very limited, even off camera. Um, so, I know he's a Capricorn. I know he's an Earth sign, so I'm just going to see what the cards have to say with regard to his sincerity because I think that it is still numb. I still think he's so numb that as much as he would like to feel, I think he's got a a block somehow. But, you know, I could be wrong. So I'm just going to use the, the cards and see if... if my intuition without the cards has any merit. It may not. Or it might be there might be something that's even more that I should be aware of. So I try to keep an open an open mind because I'm a conduit. So it's like keep keep open so that you can receive that truth. Don't narrow it down by what you're anticipating to receive, you know? It's hard sometimes to do, but um, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. Okay. So I just want to see what the universe, what the Creator, wants to share with us with regard to Chris Watts. Those of us that are interested in true crime um, and have become very concerned for justice. I mean, she's he's behind bars. He's not going to get out. But psychologically, it's an interesting study of people. And I believe that those of us that are interested in true crime have that we would be we armchair sleuths. You know, we, we like that puzzle. And we care about people. So with the compassion and the intrigue, you know, we're compelled to try. Or to think about what may have happened or whatever. I think that's natural for many of us. Not everybody. Some people it's just they have no interest. Okay. I just want to see what the Creator wants to share with us regarding him that we should know. Is he truly sincere? Because I think he is so used to, Chris Watts is so used to um, trying to be the person that people want him to be, that he hasn't discovered who he is, and part of that crisis uh, developed or came to a head. Um, when he did what he did. And so I think the fact that he was messing around and he had lost weight and, you know, he was in his 30s and he felt very, I think, dadded down without a great sense of self-worth. But that's really on himself. Um, Shannon, Sh or Shannon may have been uh, pecking at him, but he needed to find his spine. And I don't take two seconds of um, a moment's waste to think that any of this is Shannon's fault. He chose not to respond because he typically chooses not to. He doesn't like to, and what he doesn't like to do, he doesn't do. So, 
what I get covering him is the world. And this is the, the you know, going to be his life. Here. How he lives, everything, you know. I'm just, just getting that sense of things. And the two of pentacles, there is, he is two people. I really think he's got that Jekyll and Hyde problem. Could be a split personality that uh, this other side comes out as a result of, I think, a passive aggressive uh, nature. Uh, that he's passive, typically, up to a point, and then, scarily enough, um, when he blows, he, he does. But his, the way that he's done it is so, and I think this is what fascinates people, is so contrasted. Um, this loving, caring uh, person on one hand, or dutiful, definitely dutiful. Um, and yet, on the other, com would complete a uh, complete annihilator is the words I'm getting. You know, so here is this is the wholeness and fullness of who he is. He d is rejecting one side of himself for another, and I think th this is something he continues to do. He doesn't realize completely who he is. Part of that is because, as I've said. He's always been um, so oddly uh, intimidated to develop his own identity that he has put it upon and bl uh, women in his life, whether it's his mother, his wife, his lover, um, to be responsible for his poor choices when things um, fail that he has set out to do. He's a blamer. He's never matured into accepting responsibility, even though it, for all intents and purposes, that uh, we see him on video looking very dutiful and very fatherly and paternal, um, I believe he was just very want to let Shannon be the one to take all the responsibility and make all the decisions. And then he could, I think, sit there and say, at the same time, she's not, she's way too aggressive or she's way too whatever, whatever his complaint was. Um, and she certainly could be, you know, emasculating of him, but he never manned up, he never grew up to develop a sense of who he was, he he always, it seemed, was intimidated and resentful of women that are take charge. He both wanted that and he didn't want it. Because I'll tell you, if, if he had been manage, managed to get with his mistress, I believe that uh, sooner or later he would have tired of her or he he would have reached a plateau. The problem is Chris Watts didn't want to work through the plateau and he would flip into this other personality, one that was completely, there. you know, throw it out, forget it, that doesn't work, start over again, and completely ruthless. So you have this compassionate, it's not really compassionate. It, it's very conditional. His efforts. Because he's allowing somebody else to call more of the shots. And, and he's done that. He's teeter-tottered between these two extremes. Between being very passive and extremely aggressive. You know both completely an imbalanced placement.
no at the basis of this is the four of wands it's how you how you socialize how you interact with other people and the public he's way too concerned definitely about what others think and that's why he's always trying to he's still caught in trying to be appear to be the good guy he's um he doesn't like the fact that people don't think of him as a good guy so he's trying still to Im appeal to that and that's just what he does he goes and he appeals to it until he tires of it and he goes then on to something else the problem is when he tires of something he doesn't just allow it to go naturally he's he's willing to do um, what he did which was deceitful and unnecessary and just brutal and cold and this was premeditated so um he is capable of that that's already in there and i think the minute honestly that he was able to dose shannon with 80 milligrams of oxycontin to try to make her miscarry while she was in north carolina with her parents i believe that only kind of made him have anxiety to get on with it, it, shall we say. I think once he was able to do that, I think it revved him up because um, it didn't change anything. He is crowned by the devil. He's still a liar. He's still under the hold of his ego. That's what he does not understand, though he might have accepted Jesus or whatever. He's still under the, the servant of his own ego. That's crowning him at present. Yeah, and this is him trying to appeal to various people, whoever it is that he's interested in at the time. That's who he tries to be until he's lost interest with that person. And he lost interest with Shannon. Then we have the Five of Hearts in the near future. But understand, we're looking at this cross as, this Celtic cross as not necessarily stuck in one environment of time. Jeez. Ugh, sorry. Okay, so that shows heartbreak. He's still um, causing more and more pain. For people and it's like he he won't just go away and be quiet he's so um, caught up with the devil card crowning him um, that he's still being puppeted He's still being puppeted by his ego. It's not the, the devil, necessarily, that's got him. Um, but it doesn't matter. However way you want to look at it, he has a very oppressive, negative, dangerous, uh, ill-dignified, corrupt mind. That's why he doesn't want them to take him apart or to look at him right here because he knows that what they if he was completely honest he knows what's in his head okay he's aware of it it shows it okay I'm gonna go on I think that The relationships that he's had, with, that he's having with people, that people that visit him, I think there's going to be heartbreak there for some of those people that he's been um, seeing while he's in prison that have been visiting him. I see there's definitely loss with that five of hearts. So I think there could be a loss of a relationship that he has valued, um, that he where he's been able to puppet somebody, where he's been able to make them. And I think the part of his problem is he believes it himself. He's gullible at, to his own ego completely. And most people are. 
but most people also at some point especially at his age when they've had children and stuff it it sinks in with Chris it just never seems to sink in because I feel like he's he's got these two aspects of himself that are extremely different the Jekyll and Hyde that goes back and forth. He's got a tug of war all right with his ego. His ego of like uh, that says I've never felt worthy in my life. I've never felt attractive in my life, but I lost weight and uh, met someone new and exciting and that's what I wanted to pursue. And I didn't mind putting my family to the curb for it, which is bizarre. This deals with a great deal of, in his mind, there's a lot of activity. He cannot, with this ten of um, wands for how his mind is working, it is heavy. And it's interesting because I've noticed that people say he doesn't have, doesn't joke around very much. Um, he's got a very kind of a serious, much more somber demeanor. Um, this makes sense just it's the way his brain works or rather maybe doesn't work um, he feels an enormous sense of pressure to try to be who people excuse me here I didn't mean to whack that to be who people want and say that is an acceptable person but I think he's hiding a deeper problem that he is not able to control himself and or uh, is able to control up to a point and it's still there so in his environment yeah hanged man um he's in prison i don't see he's going to not get any uh, i don't see him getting any better there or anything or any despite you know the fact that he's come to jesus I still see the devil firmly in place. The Seven of Hearts, there's, he's, this is in Hopes and Fears, he is a confused person. Um, he doesn't perceive things, you, you know, accurately. He doesn't see things clearly. Um, there's a great deal of confusion. And I think he's afraid that people will see that confusion and, and the weakness in him and um, write him off. He's afraid of being written off, oddly enough, despite the fact that he certainly wrote off his own family. He doesn't want people to know that he is this, that yes, but we already do. It's him who won't accept it and his family and some members of society that are as foolish, uh, apparently. So that's Hope's Fears, uh, final end result, Ten of Hearts. He's, I don't think he's, he's got the rose glasses on, you know. I think he's always going to go back to this fantasy. He is, his, fantasy is his deal. This is the problem with Chris Watts, is fantasy. And he's cold, he's able to write people off once they no longer are entertaining the fantasy or aren't living up to the fantasy that he has. That is the bottom line with this guy. And the religion is, for right now, just part of what makes him feel better, so it works out okay. He's a narcissist. Devil's firmly in control of that man's. His ego is firmly in control of his thoughts. His who's in control is his ego. Shows that. And this is a problem I think he's come in to with the world as the basis to try to deal with, again and again in different lives, and perhaps more recently. 
but emperor and the two of wands. This is, again, passive-aggressive. Father or killer, what are you? You know, you're both. You are a father and a killer. You're both of that. And he can't accept that he's both of that. But he needs to, because that's the truth. And that would do him a lot better than denying. He needs, you know, he's, he's halfway there. He, he'll tell some of the truth, but he never tells the complete truth. Because he's always trying to minimize himself as being, quote unquote, the bad guy. Of how come he did this? Oh, it was, I did this because of Shannon. It's all Shannon, you know. But it wasn't all Shannon. It was him. So there's that on Chris Watts. I hope that is helpful. Um, if you find my content interesting, please do like, hit that like button, and make sure you're subscribed, because sometimes YouTube makes mistakes. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.